So the 90s was uh, an interesting time in this part of the world. So there was a, a war going on at the start of the... It was, it was hard. Uh, it was hard. The finances were not good, you know, in, in war times you, there, there's not much money around. And it was a little bit hard to get to some of the hardware, but there were always ways. Some duty-free shops actually sold the, the computers and, and some, some young companies were selling stuff, you know, behind the, behind the bar. Oh, really? Yeah, something like that. So we get our hands on to the, to the really cool stuff. Uh, I'm talking about still uh, Amiga days. Mm. It wasn't easy, let's say, call it. So you were buying black market PCs, basically? To, to I don't know if it's PC or... Well, it, it wasn't black market, it was like... Um, grey market. Grey market. Uh, it was almost legal. Yeah. <laughs> Amiga was really beloved by us. It was an amazing machine with, with awesome games. Each game was pretty different and very creative. The design and the creativity was really blooming in those times. But it was, it was very exciting times. Do you think the fact that you had to teach yourselves and that there, was, there were no resources available to you, has that made Crow Team what it is in a sense, in the terms of you can do it all yourselves? Well, yes, yes. At that time we didn't have any money. It's, it's not uh, that you get some, you know, like finance and then you start a project. You actually start a project. The finance was, were moms and dads. So basically what we, what we learned is that we need to do pretty much everything by ourselves. Basically there were no schools, there were no YouTube tutorials, there, there was basically nothing. I, I just got that editor, I installed it in my PC at my home and I started experimenting with it. So that actually stemmed from the Football Glory to Sirius Sam a couple of years later. So we decided there was no way that we could license the engine, not to ne nearly that kind of money. Mm. But yeah, we actually, we had tools, we had, had skills. So we just say, okay, let's give it a go. <laughs> Is it true that you lost people sometimes from your team to, for the, to the draft, the military draft? Of course we had a military draft. I also was drafted into military. But so I was, I was away for like a year, something like that. So that's how long you, you need to be in the army. When there were six of us, seven of us, it was really, when you lose one or two, it's, it's, it's a big deal yeah. for a year. And you try to, 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 to compile a game together, it's, it's a big deal. Tell me about your hunt for a publisher, though, because I don't think that went as well as you were hoping. Uh, no, it was a really hard time for us because we, we, our parents were paying for what we, we are doing, you know, renting apartment computers and, wow. and thanks, mom, thanks, dad, and, and to everybody who, who supported us and helped us to, to, to be here. Who did you pitch Serious Sam to? Who? We pitched it to maybe something like 10 publishers or something, and we got just two responses and both were negative. Uh, then we created, decided to create a vertical slice, small but polished, and then we put it out onto the internet, and then everything exploded. You know, people, community actually forced or, you know, like those, uh, forced publishers to, to get in contact with us. That's how we started. Really? Yeah. So, so it was we, actually the weight of the community that. Yeah, the, so the, that's why we, for the whole life of Crow Team, actually, we are like uh, uh, in depth, we, we, need, we, we owe to, to our community and that we will never forget that. So, so it's all about you players, Yeah, it's all for you. We are here because of you guys. Who showed interest when you finally did your vertical slice demo and the community was starting to bubble? Publisher that was actually a group of developers. It's, it was called Gathering of Developers. That's yeah from those times. Okay. So uh, this is this was Mike Wilson's yeah I think so. thing at Harry the time Miller and, and Harry. And back then it was something special. It was revolutionary what the guys did. His, that whole thing was about putting the power in the hands of the creators. Yeah. Also, the, the publishers had a fair cut there, you know, but it, it, back, day, back in days, it wasn't like that, you know, publishers were too greedy, in my opinion, and then the guys changed a little bit the, the landscape of the, of the thing. That was pretty revolutionary, in my opinion. Yeah, and that's, that's the spirit that has lived on in Devolver, yeah. I guess. Yeah, you can, you can see that. Yeah. 